Hi everyone, it's Renee. Welcome to this DIY. Today is actually my last video for this year and for the holidays actually. And it's gonna be this um, holiday cell phone case. I'm really excited because I just wanted to do this pretty much since October, to be honest. And hopefully I'm right on time still, but I'm just going to take my phone case and I'm using kind of like plastic. This is not acrylic the material this is more like plastic and i'm just going to paint the whole thing in acrylic white acrylic paint i'm working outside in here and i'm at my parents right now so that's why the kind of like the background of this video is different the table that's because i'm working outside in the patio actually and, but yeah once i was done painting the whole thing i went ahead grouped a piece of paper in my sharpie and marked the cell phone shape so i could know how much i was going to be using for the next step and then i just cut it that part and fold that in half and because i'm going to be making a penguin i'm just going to paint the white step before so this is going to be kind of template so i'm just marking the whole area that i'm going to be you know using in white and then i'm just going to cut that out using my scissors the reason i fold my paper in half is because to just make it easier for me to just have both sides like equal then i just moved back inside because it was getting too cold but then i just had like my piece of paper that i just cut it and then this is how it looks like so it's gonna be like pretty precise if you fold it in half and then you cut it but then i'm just going to trace that shape which is gonna be like my stencil as i mentioned before and i'm just going to mark it with my um sharpie and then I'm just going to uh, paint or draw some mittens because I saw this idea of um, penguin decorated cookie online and I just wanted to go for it. And this is pretty much how I how I drew them. But then I'm just going to be painting them in green acrylic paint. And then I'm just going to go with my black paint and pretty much just paint the line and I'm just going to be painting outside that line. So I'm pretty much basing myself from that line, obviously. So the reason I painted like the top white and nothing on the edges of the cell phone case is because I was going to be used a lot of low, like white space and that's why I went for it. But then I'm just going to be painting my edges in black. So once that's right, I'm just going to be taking this big dotting tool and I'm just going to add two dots to make the eyes. Then uh, since this is a pen one, well, I'm just going to paint uh, this part in orange, like a triangle. And then I'm just going to be taking the back side of my dotting tool, which is a bigger dot, some red acrylic paint, and I'm just going to paint ear warmers or ear gloves. How do you call these things? Some people call them ear gloves, some people call them ear warmers. I just am going to say ear accessories for cold weather, just let me know how you call them. I'm going to just draw or paint a scarf because I love them and I'm actually basing myself to do this from an LR tutorial that I saw recently from uh, somebody online I'm just going to link it below if I can find the video but they just this idea to just draw this like scarf lines the nails and I just thought I'd went for it but in this case for my phone case yeah I'm just going to use a toothpick to do that and I'm just going to at the end do the same thing but vertical lines and using my green Green acrylic paint and then going in the middle with some first time dimension I think with some orange um, acrylic paint and then last but not least I'm just going to add a polka dot pattern to my gloves or mittens uh, sometimes you just have to go back and just erase we could say mistakes and in this case this is what I'm doing I tatted my ear like how do you say I was gonna call the things my um, accessories for ears for cold weather just kidding i'm just going to go back because i thought my line was pretty thick so i just wanted to erase or just fix it you can add as many things more as you like depends pretty much on your like what you want to go for this is pretty optional everything you just um accessorize her or him as whatever you want to him look like 
but then I'm just going to be using my sun finish or sun gloss that I use mostly for like polymer clay. I'm self-defined like the perfect, um, we could say top coat to use on my cell phone cases. Um, but for now, this is what I'm working with. Sometimes I use like the spray top coat, but for now I'm using this one that I apply with a brush. And you just have to let the whole thing dry and set. And this is pretty much it for this idea. And actually, this is the last video of this year. I really hope you have an amazing holiday season. And I'll talk to you next year. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. If you liked it, don't forget to share it. And subscribe to my channel for more stuff coming next year. Thank you so much for your time watching. And I'll talk to you next year. Happy 2016, guys.